What up everyone? Michael Lawrence here. Um, I just posted a video yesterday, but I was getting a ton of messages of people being like, you need to react to Amberlynn's new video. It's a fucking good one. I want to know what you think, blah, blah, blah. So I just got out of an anatomy lab and I'm supposed to be packing for my cruise tomorrow, but I've got a lot of built up angst from being in that fucking lab room for the past two and a half hours. So you know what? I'm just gonna do a live reaction <laughs> to the I Am Done video and I'm gonna take you along on this journey with me. Three, two, one. Hey guys. So <sighs> bathroom videos for the win. This is so loud. Curious with this video. There are so many opinions online um, I understand constructive criticism. Like, I love constructive criti con constructive criticism. Pause. She can't even say the word constructive. I mean, this whole farce about, like, I love constructive criticism. I'm here for constructive criticism. In a couple video ago, videos ago, she was literally complaining about how over she is, like, everyone telling her what to do and, like, what kind of diets to try and how she knows best and blah, blah, blah. Bitch, you don't like any kind of criticism. Like, that's why you're in, your YouTube channel is the state that it's in. Because, like, you troll and then people will give you some feedback and then you fucking lose it and like I'm sure this is what this is about let's keep going I love it like I'm totally fine and down with that like give it to me all the criticism yeah I'm can. sure it's like, whatever <laughs> um, there's a difference between like just rude criticism and like nice like non-judgmental criticism non-judgmental criticism okay huge differences hmm. And I know with this video, the comments are going to explode, the thumbs down is going to explode. Your videos have already because been getting tons of thumbs think down. it's okay to kind of judge other people's lives and their decisions. Okay, everyone judges everyone. It's like a human characteristic. We are constantly being bombarded by people, images, other animals. Like humans judge that's how we like survive it's like we judge on whether or not like you're a good person you're a bad person you're dangerous you're safe blah 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 that's just how we are as human beings right so for her to be like i don't want people to judge me or da 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 amberlyn you judge people i mean there's been videos of you out and about talking shit about people around you I don't know, I don't know, like, but y y of course you want some kind of, like, special entitled privilege to, like, not be judged, whatever. Which, I understand that. I'm putting myself online. I understand yeah. that I'm putting myself online. Yeah, you are putting yourself online. And people should be allowed to kind of, you know, state their opinions on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. and, like, they the should be. Wearing, you know, but it's like, there's such a huge difference between... Oh, you know, I don't really like Amberlynn's shirt today, but or between like Amberlynn looks like a fat whale on that shirt, like she needs to get out. Where's the lie though? <laughs> like that's I mean, is it rude? Sure, it's fucking rude, but like where's the lie? Like as someone who is fat, as someone who's weighed way more than I have People making fat jokes about me. First of all, I just want to say what a, I don't it's I don't want to say it's a privilege, but I just want to talk about like people making fat jokes about other people. Like, is it cruel? Like, yeah, it's cruel, but like people do it. And also on the scale of things in life that are damaging and not damaging or things that like are personal and not personal, someone making a quick like fat joke about you isn't that big of a deal someone discriminating ag against you because of your size like that fucking sucks but there's far more things that are pressing in this world than like someone calling you a whale or an old man referring to you as a beanbag while you fucking scuttle your way through a me mexican restaurant like i it's if this is what's really tearing you up inside like then Fix it! <laughs> Just fucking lose the weight and then no one would call you a fucking whale anymore. Problem solved. I did it for you. At least you have that luxury. There's so many other things that people have, be it handicaps or physical um, deformities or like the color of your skin, your sexual orientation. Your There's far more things that people can come at about someone that are far more damaging and far more personal than like you being called fat. <laughs> like. 
get over yourself, grow a thicker skin. Like there's a huge difference and I, I get love, I get support. I don't know I why get, you get love, you know, I don't like understand. In constructive criticism, but I also get- She's a, hung up on the word constructive criticism. Outright cruel, just horrid things said to me and said about me. And I just, I'm afraid because I don't read the comments. You're I'm afraid? Of what is said about me. If people You're afraid of words. Or snap <laughs> okay. And say certain things to me, I just can't even imagine what they say behind my back. Like, it's almost frightening to even know. So, I don't read Girl. the comments. Um, I occasionally look at the thumbs up, thumbs down, because like... And I'm they're bad. Know, they're awful. People, people are like trying to tell you you're doing. fucking... I'm kind of to the point where... Oh my god. I don't even think that truly speaks anymore. Like, if I get tons of thumbs down on a video, that's... It doesn't mean that's a dislike video. Because I feel like... What? <laughs> Wait, so now we're like... We're gonna just like totally throw away like any kind of rating system that YouTube has of people t trying to tell you what they did like or dislike about your content so you can gauge what you're going to be doing or not doing in the future and we're just gonna pretend like the one way that like people can interact with your fucking videos and tell you what they like or dislike about you besides commenting because you say you don't read the comments is through the like and dislike and now that's invalid or it doesn't mean anything anymore. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not gonna toot my own horn or whatever, but like, yes, my channel is like primarily talking about the drama that you incur, that you cause, right? And I'll, I'll just take, for instance, my la my not my last video, but like my Amberlynn Reed like fake news video or whatever. I don't remember the name of it. It's so long ago now. But um, that video has like 40,000 views and like it has like a thousand likes and like maybe like 50 to 100 dislikes like so obviously people like that video a lot you know and obviously like people are trying to tell you in the only way that they can tell you because you block people on twitter you block people on instagram you don't read their snapchats or whatever you do read them or i don't know what the fuck you do because every time it changes they're trying to tell you that like watching a fat girl ride around in a mobility scooter and eat herself to death isn't fucking fun. <laughs> like, and they're trying to like, let you know how they feel. And I know you want to talk about the invisible viewers or the people who don't fucking watch or whatever, but like, you want to know how sample sizes work, right? So like, the way we take surveys and stuff in this country for like, how we are going to like, decide like, what we like or what we dislike that's going on on a national level is we take a sample size of the people of people from varying backgrounds of life and ethnicities and all that good stuff and we ask them the question and then we put it into a fucking there's like a whole mathematical equation that we use to decipher what people what what a more broad group of people may be feeling than just a small sample because you can't obviously survey like millions of people it's fucking impossible so i'm just gonna say that like the people who like and dislike the people who bother to interact with your your channel right the majority of them and i'm not saying like 55 percent. i'm talking about 90 percent of the people that watch your videos think you're fucking trash <laughs> and they think that what you do every day is destructive so for you to to say that that's now invalid pretty much disqualifies or diminishes your fans, right? Because like, I'm also assuming that not everyone who bothers to interact with your channel isn't just a hater. I'm sure that there are people that fucking like you, right? So you have 60,000 subscribers. So you're now saying that if I'm a fan and I support you and I go hard for you in the comments to defend you because there are people that still do that there's not a lot anymore but there are some people that do that they when they no longer like something or th are they're trying to get across a point to you that what you're doing isn't good content or destructive or they want to see better you're now saying that like their vote or their opinion that no longer matters so I so if that's the case and people should, I guess should just stop watching her I don't know like I what's I don't know she just wants the money I mean that's what it all really comes down to but let's just fucking keep going there are people I'm annoyed who just do it to get the rise out of me um I've seen it firsthand 
And You've seen what firsthand? I'm getting so many views. <laughs> You've seen my videos firsthand? I don't know. If people didn't enjoy watching them. No matter what, I'm entertaining you. If it's for a good reason or for a bad. Holy crap. I'm going on a tangent. Like, this has nothing to do with this video at all. What I'm trying to tell it you guys doesn't? is I'm done. I am done with what? Done with what? With what you ask. With what you wonder, I'm done counting calories. <laughs> when you done... been done, bitch. Wait, you're now you're done counting calories. So when you ate that box of gushers and th went to Taco Bell twice and went to ate a whole baguette, you were you were counting those calories. When have you been counting calories? When has the calorie counting start process started? That's what I would like to know because if you were really counting calories, you wouldn't have gained. <laughs> 150 pounds in the past two years or whatever like you would have lost some fucking weight if you were like counting your calories you don't count your calories you've never counted your calories i think that like what you show us when you were trying to be good or whatever was a bunch of bullshit because i think behind the scenes you eat whatever the fuck you want but it's like i don't know why you need to announce this to people like i'm done giving a fuck about living like we know we can see it <laughs> like we see you not taking showers Sleeping in old makeup while your foundation, foundation, while your found, see that's what happens when you watch too much of this shit, like, you start to like go fucking crazy. But we've seen that <laughs> you, you think your foundation magically vanishes into thin air when you don't take it off every night. Like, you don't, clearly don't give a fuck. So like, I don't know why you need to make this announcement other than, I don't know, drum up controversy and views. Doing Weight Walkers. I am done being done doing so you want you got to start things to finish them wondering should I do low carb should I do keto should I just go get weight loss surgery I'm done you, like, you can't just go get weight loss like, surgery it's not that easy but all. sure keep thinking that and I'm sure you guys are watching this and you're like but you would never get weight loss surgery because you refuse to see a therapist about. and you have to get I um cleared psychologically first so mentally overwhelmed that there's no possible way that I can count points right now, that I can count calories right now. What else do you do? <laughs> like, literally, all you do is make videos for YouTube, which, which re require you to hold your hand up with the camera now while you drive around Kentucky to go out to eat three times a day and sit at a dining room table and color and not write in your thousands of journals. What else mentally, emotionally, <laughs> I mean time-wise, are you doing that like you couldn't find the time or the mental, uh, the mental exertion, I guess, to I don't know, give a fuck about your health. Like, I, th all you have to do is that. That's all you, that's all you have. You don't care for other people. You don't take care of your, of your house. I mean, Ricky's the one who does all the fucking housework and Becky's the one who does, who cleans your bedroom. I mean, God, at least you do that. I would be, dude, I would be pissed if I found out Ricky was cleaning your room, but he does all the housework and the outside work and everything. What do you do other than exist and eat? So, like, you could put in all of your effort <laughs> into trying to lose weight because you have nothing else to do and no other responsibilities. The sad thing is that you're so fucking far gone that, like, you can't even do that. And that's fucking so dark. That's the, that's the darkest reality of it all, is that this 27-year-old unemployed... 520 30 40 pound woman all she has to do every day is get up and make the conscious effort to try to eat better and still manages to fail <laughs> like that's crazy that's fucking so crazy for anything i can't count carbs nothing because How, why what what I'm happened so to your so fucking meal planner so thing i see it already what this is doing for me is, oh God, how do I explain this? How do you Obviously make an excuse? To lose weight, you need to restrict in some sort of way, a positive way, a good way, a healthy way. 
you need to restrict. When I see that in... You see, this is the kind of, like, when she went on that tirade a few days ago about how I'm not a weight loss channel, and this isn't weight loss, and da-da-da-da-da. Bitch, all you talk about is weight. <laughs> Like, your channel is, I'm, I agree, your channel isn't a weight loss channel. I said that in the video yesterday. It's a weight gain channel. But all you do is talk about weight. So, like, for you to then be, like, annoyed at people insisting that you, like, give a fuck is annoying. Like, I need to stop saying like so much. I'm sorry. I just find it so incredibly hypocritical and just so stupid that, like, sh and I'm, I'm just, I, ugh. It's, it's just so dumb. Like, Figure it out. Figure it out for yourself. Fucking do something. Go to a fucking fat rehab or something. Do those even exist? Like an inpatient hospital fat rehab where they lock you in a fucking room and like f give you trays of food under the door and you can't do anything but eat that because you can't come out. Like that's what you need. Prison. She needs prison. <laughs> that's what she needs. Number four. In values of points. And values of calories it makes me feel like this is my mental this is my mentality if I was seeing a therapist this is what I would be telling her or him but it makes me feel like I'm never gonna eat again if why all you do is eat and I'm about to eat something that's 28 and that leaves me with two points I look at it as oh my god how can I go the rest of the day without eating or if okay i just want to say like this might be a little real for coming from her or whatever but like if you've noticed when she eats she like hovers over her food is constantly looking around like someone's gonna take it from her like a dog right like it reminds me of a dog and i'm not trying to compare her to animals but like i've already done that but it's very much like she has like food aggression <laughs> like she legitimately has like food aggression i think and like she thinks that she will never eat again or I don't know what it is because I don't understand how she can think that like I, I don't know I understand because there are kids that come from like underprivileged or uh, impoverished nations right and they're adopted into like families that live in nations that are have abundance of things right so like say you take a child from a war-torn part of Syria who was is probably legit starving and you like move in with a family in the UK or a family in the US or any other developed nation, chances are they're, they have money because they're adopting. Because first of all, you have usually have to have money to adopt. Second of all, they're going to be around an abundance of food that like they've never experienced before. And I can understand them being like, well, shit, like back where I was from, I didn't eat three or four days or longer than that, like a week. So like when I get food, like I coveted, I... I'm scared it will not come back. Like, I can understand that. But, like, we've seen pictures of Amberlynn as a toddler. Bitch has always been fat. She's always eating. So I don't understand where that mentality came from. Like, I, she wasn't a starved child, right? She's been, I think she was almost 200 pounds when she was seven years old. So, like, I don't, she's always been fed. <laughs> I don't get it. Calories, if I only have 50 calories left, I'm like, oh, my God, this is restricting me too hard. This is crazy and that's where my binging goes haywire i'm talking this is what is causing me to binge sing it with me this is what is no we're not gonna sing, sing it with you that's fucking know. sad you're fucking crazy you're out of your fucking mind gonna tell me I'm making excuses. <laughs> you're crazy bitch I know people are you are I'm everything has been an excuse i know people you are, are telling me you're about to be 600 pounds i know people are Truth. telling me i'm about to be bedridden I Truth. know all of these things that you Damn, does she talking. watch my videos? I'm telling you, I'm Dude, I think she watches my videos. With that sort of mind frame. I'm done doing anything that makes me feel like I can't succeed. So, let me explain this. Further. What? I'm done counting calories. Yeah, please, elaborate. I'm freaking out about carbs. I'm, I'm completely done. Doing that puts me in a negative mind frame and makes me binge every single night. I just and love how like it's become long, like I her YouTube fan base's fault now that like she's this fucking fat. I reading books. As you guys know, I got binging books. I don't expect anyone with binge eating You've been doing a lot of research. Bitch, you can't even research a therapist phone number. You need food to survive and it's terrible. 
terribly scary. What else puts me in a negative mind frame and that makes me want to binge? Eating horrible food. Eating chocolates, eating ice cream. You um, buy all that shit at Walmart every day. I'm just gorging <laughs> my face and whatever I want. Chips and just, you know, fried foods and desserts. And then why are you going to the buffet every day? Or just, you know, that also I, so she's going to stop counting calories and Weight Watchers and stuff like that. But she's going to be going to the Chinese buffet <laughs> and the Mexican restaurant every other day. The same way as like counting my food makes me feel and counting your food this also leaves you guys with the question of well then what are you gonna do you're just giving up yeah <laughs> i'm not so i okay have probably lost not even exaggerating a thousand pounds in my lifetime i have gained and lost and gained and lost and gained and lost Every single week mm -hmm. of my life I'm gonna like a seizure right last, now. Like ten years, like I have gained and lost the same thousand pounds repeatedly, and it's because you haven't. I know how to lose weight. <laughs> I have the knowledge. I know what's healthy versus. Not. Oh my god, dude! How many times have we heard know. her? How many times have we heard her go on this whole tirade of like, I have the knowledge. I know how to lose weight. I've lost a thousand pounds. I, the, bitch, you are 520 pounds. <laughs> you've not lost any weight. Like, you've never lost weight. I'm sorry. That's stupid. You, I, you've never lost weight. You've never lost weight because you can't say that you've lost weight if you don't keep it off. Sorry. I'm gonna make that a new rule. We can fucking put that into the fucking American what Medical Association. If you lose weight and then gain it back, you never lost the weight. Right there. A piece, of, like a like a breast, a chicken breast, and be like, okay, that's five ounces. I can look at, you know, some like broccoli and be like, okay, that's a cup of broccoli. I no, you can't, bitch. So long, oh my god. That's also another misconception. If you go to a weight loss, like a bariatric surgeon, and you talk to a real nutritionist, or you talk, or you even go to a weight loss group, or a bariatric surgery support group, or whatever, they tell you, like, the one of the first things they tell you is to go buy measuring cups and a food scale and actually measure your food because in your brain the way you gauge food is completely fucking off and completely fucking wrong and in your mind because you've seen these portions over and over again you've normalized them you no longer know what a healthy amount of food looks like because you've done nothing but eat unhealthy amounts of food for however long you've been fat and so you need to reassess and retrain your brain Amberlynn's never done that. So I don't I don't understand why she thinks that like she somehow is like a human walking scale measuring cup when she's clearly fucking not. And like that's also a same excuse that a lot of people who are morbidly obese use. Like they think like, oh I can look at this and I know how much it fucking how many calories it is and da 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 da. You don't. You don't you really don't unless you've like gone to school for, and even then, like my nutritionist Courtney tells me she weighs out her food every fucking day. She's been doing this for like 20 fucking years. Weighs out every fucking meal, pre-portion size, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Because, and, and it's not that she does it, she doesn't do it for every meal, but she does it for like her lunch and her dinner or whatever. I mean, when she, obviously when she's out and about, she's not measuring her food. But to be successful in weight loss, you have to do things like that. That's just like, is what it is. If you watch bodybuilders, if you watch any, if you watch anyone that is successful in keeping their bodies fit, they all measure their food out. <laughs> they, none of, there's no one that does not do that. I, I, I can only imagine like, no, I think even The Rock measures his food out, or his chef does. I remember him talking in one of his Instagram stories about how much food he eats and how many calories a day he eats and cups of fish and da 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 and all that stuff that he eats a day to maintain his physique. So like, just to be successful in achieving the body that you want, you have to do that. And like, she doesn't have the correct calibration in her mind to do that. So like, her to sit here and give this excuse again about I know what it looks like is fucking bullshit and why she's unsuccessful. And 
it's the knowledge. Like, I need to start a damn class, but it would be ironic. Weight loss like, guru. It would be an ironic thing. You need to start a class? Like, a fact on how to do what? Become bed bound? Class. Like, it would never happen, but I have the knowledge. See, this it's is true. what I mean. She's fucking crazy. Kind of like That's alcoholic. fucking crazy. That's deluded. I don't mean to, like, trigger anyone. I'm sorry if I am. I don't mean to offend anybody at all. Or a drug addict. They have the knowledge. They know... I need to what? Oh my I god. I need to not shoot up. I need oh to my not god. Smoke cocaine. This is going off like she's thing, fucking right? dumb dude the I, her iq she levels in the double digits she's i'm not supposed to be eating like whoa whatever I want. i'm not some jock in high school playing football she's like, fucking crazy they can eat whatever they want i know what's healthy i know they can't eat whatever they want football like, players uh, don't eat whatever what they want i know all of them i know what i should be eating for dinners i know the amount i should be eating for my body and for me to lose weight you don't so to, you don't though. You know, end this and try to make you guys understand. Where Thank I'm God. From. Me becoming Notice so she's back in the poop bun with the sideburns every day. Right she's now. back to destiny I all over again. Get in here. At night, I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna do Weight Watchers. Or the next night, I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna wake up and count calories. And I'm doing this back and forth, you guys. I'm like seesawing back and forth between these things and when i wake up i lose all the motivation completely disappears it just it vanishes <laughs> it's like all the motivation and all the she wakes up like literally she can't like be perseverant for more than nine hours at a time disappears after and eight of those hours she's asleep <laughs> it's because i'm overwhelmed and i'm fucking so dead dead dude Overwhelmed with what? What do you do? You don't take I'm care of children. Work. You don't work. I'm gonna try what do you do? Again. God I'm damn, dude. If, if 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 we weren't in a developed nation or whatever, and like, say we were a uh, a, say we were a pack of bison <laughs> trying to cross the frozen tundra of Canada, and. There was 12 of us, right? And like Amber Lynn was one of the, of the pack and there was a group of wolves that were like trying to like isolate one of us to eat us. Amber Lynn would literally sit down and be like, I give up. <laughs> like she would be that bison that would just be like over it, just kill me. Like, because she has no willpower. She has no willpower, no perseverance, no follow through, nothing. Like the littlest itty bittiest kind of pressure or like turmoil in her life just fuck like i don't know like maybe darwinism is an effect maybe that's why she is gonna like eat herself into a bed and then like die of a fucking deep vein thrombosis or i don't know a fucking pulmonary embolism or something because how are you that pathetic of a person <laughs> and i'm gonna tell myself that i'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm not counting calories. I'm not counting points. I am going to eat whole Sorry, camera cut out. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Some people call this intuitive eating. That's not intuitive really eating. Where I'm at. Ew, 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 is that a bug on her? What the Oh my god. Did that bug just fall out of her hair? The old pincher bug just was on me. That bug literally fell out of her hair. That I think I'm okay. Where the fuck did that come? Your hair. That's so gross. Intuitive eating. Oh my god. Intuitive and eating. The buzzword that she read on Tumblr today. Intuitive eating. <laughs> intuitive eating. I'm fucking dead. Like intuitively, that's what I want, honey. Intuitive like, eating. Not intuitive eating. It's nothing like intuitive eating. It's more. So oh my like, god! I love how she like looks up a definition of something and then like she like she's like she wakes up and is like I'm gonna use intuitive eating ten times today. Calorie. I gotta count every single ounce of chicken. Like I know how to lose weight without doing that. 
What? Know, when? Like, when have you lost weight without doing it? You wake up tomorrow, I'm gonna eat a box of gushers. Gush, gushers. Gushers. Hit off of my shoulders because I've been so overwhelmed, and that is what is keeping me on this failing road. And I'm just done. I want to get off this road and go on a different one. So who's with me? Anybody? Please? No one. No one's with you on your no journey to 600 pounds. Wait unless you count calories, which is not true. It's not true. There is an Instagram. Oh, on Instagram, Instagram of course. Because so they're Tina. trustworthy. She's Everyone on Instagram, everything on Instagram you see is true, folks. She That's some like Donald Trump, Trump thinking right there, dude. <laughs> That's like, fucking crazy. Looking like what? You know what she did? She didn't count calories. She didn't count points. She just knew what was healthy. I know what's healthy. I know what I can put my body. Oh in my god. But you can't even. You don't even know what kind of bra to wear. Rooting for me instead of being mad at me. But I have to end this video. It's super late at night, and I hope tomorrow. You're crazy, bitch. You are crazy. You're out of your fucking mind. So, yay. <laughs> Oof, that was dark. See, okay, I understand why people are like, you need to respond, blah, 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 or react to it. Dude, she's fucking so gone right now. First of all, if you see someone on Instagram, like, talking about how much they lost weight or blah, 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 and they did it by doing this, da, 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 it's either a fluke or it's a lie. Like, that's just what I want to say. There are true and tried ways of like how to lose weight. Counting calories is one, portion control is one, low carb is one. There's infinite diets out there and a lot of them work. But just being like, I'm just going to do whatever I want and I'm going to hope for the best is not one of them. <laughs> I'm just going to just put that out there. It's not one of them. She's out of her fucking mind. I'm over, well I'm not over it, but I think that she's just like, I think she... I thought for a second she was going to be a little bit real at the end of being like, well, I'm done counting calories and I'm just going to live my life and, and this is what it is from now on. I would respect that. I'd be like, then you know what? If the, you know what you signed up for and you're not going to go on here and preach about how you know how to lose weight and know that what you're doing to yourself is going to have dire consequences in the near future, then so be it, girl. Go on and live your fucking life, but it's the whole I'm an intuitive eater now, and I know how to lose weight, and I can por I can eyeball portion sizes and da 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 all this bullshit. That's all just bullshit. It's just more of the same, I guess, with her. She's she's fucking gone, dude. She, I think she's gone. I think that like we are gonna slowly watch her progress to being 600 pounds and bed bound. I was watching my 600 pound life last night and it was like, uh, where are they now or whatever. And Amber does not look far different than the before clips of that of this one girl that was on there. I think her name is Cynthia. Like her body type and like her attitude. She's not far off. She's pretty much there. Like she's, she looks sick. There's bugs falling out of her fucking hair. She looks sick. She looks like her liver is failing her. She looks like her lymphatic system is fucking failing. She looks like her cardiovascular system is like, fuck me, put me out of my misery. Like, she just looks really bad. She looks unhealthy. Her skin looks disgusting. Her hands are darker than they've ever been. Like, I... I don't know, dude. People are gonna think... People are gonna say that I'm, like, a hater or whatever, and it's, it is what it is. I'm just, like, just being real. Like, it just... She's a fucking goner, dude. <sighs> anyway, I need to fucking pack. I need to get my car washed and all this fucking good shit. So I'm going to end it here. Thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, toodles.